In this demo, I would like to demonstrate to you how you can debug retail transaction service classes. Even if you are not going to extend this service and not going to learn X++ language, being able to debug is very helpful for commerce developers. I'm in my point of sale now and let's say that I am interested in what exactly happens when the new customer is created from point of sale. The new customer will be created in both channel and HQ databases when I click save button. I already know how to debug commerce runtime, so I know how to debug channel database creation process, but I'm not sure what exactly happens in HQ and this is something I want to debug. I'm in Visual Studio now and as you remember from our previous demo, retail real-time service wrapper class will be called when some real-time service method should be executed. So what I did, I put a breakpoint inside the make static call method. This way I can start my debugging process for any real-time service functionality. Any real-time service method called by commerce runtime will go through make static call method. Now we need to find out to which process to attach our debugger. Remember that for commerce runtime debugging, we are attaching the debugger to retail server process. But real-time service is a part of HQ. This means we will need to attach the debugger to application object server. Using my command line utility, I can identify which process application object server is using. I'm going to the utility. And I can see that my process number is 13,900. I go back to Visual Studio. And now I'm ready to attach my debugger to the application object server process. I say debug, attach to process, ordering the processes and selecting mine here. Go in bottom and say attach. Debugger has been attached to application object server process. And now we are ready to debug. I am back in point of sale and I am going to click save button. Now I expect that debugger will reach my breakpoint. Debugger has reached my breakpoint and this means now we are debugging back office application. In the watch below we can see that the real name of the class and method will be called will be retail transaction service new customer ext3 method. Let's go to that method and set a breakpoint there. This is a new customer ext3 method. You see it has a huge amount of input parameters. So this is where the method starts. I can put a breakpoint here and click continue. I expect debugger will come here. Debugger has reached my breakpoint and here you can check, for example, already the input parameters. And then we see that there is one more method called inside this method. So I can also jump to this method. It also has a lot of input parameters and I can put a breakpoint here. And you can see that it has one more method inside. I can jump here too. And one more method. And one more method. And finally, I am in retail transaction service customer class inside the new customer method. And this is where the real customer creation will start. So I can put a breakpoint here, continue with debugger, and I can debug every line of the code to find out what exactly happens in HQ site when customer is created. This was a demo how you can debug any real-time service operation.